Hi, my name is George Talibus, and I'm an associate broker with REMAX Executives here in Southwest Idaho. Today is March 29th, 2022, and I wanted to talk to you folks today about seller net sheets. And what is a net sheet? Well, if you've bought or sold a home in the past, you've gotten a closing statement at closing uh, that has an itemized list of all your expenses and closing costs. Well, uh, a net sheet is the same thing. We as realtors can get um, access to title companies' websites, and on those websites, they have these net sheets that we are available to us as realtors, okay? And they're really important for sellers especially. And the reason I say that is because buyers usually get an itemized list of all their expenses uh, buyers do from their lenders. Uh, but if you're a seller, you have some pretty um, big expenses. You have the real estate commission, uh, title insurance, closing fee, and prorated taxes are the big expenses. And so how do you know what you're going to net to buy another house or, or get the money that you need if you know, don't know what your bottom line is going to be? And I have to tell you, I've worked with a lot of sellers in the past that had been listed with another realtor five, six, seven, eight, ten years ago. And they were surprised when I showed them a net sheet. They said they didn't even know what, what it was. And so this is really important for you folks, especially if you've got a, a market that's changing a little bit. We do see a lot of price reductions still going on right now. And I think there's going to be more as interest rates rise. And so um, I always recommend when you're a seller, if you think, no, you have, if, excuse me, if your agent recommends a price of say $500,000, that you as a seller would like to start out at five. 20 or 525, I really recommend that your realtor does three net sheets, one at 520 or 525, one at 500, and maybe another one at 475 or 480. That way you can test the market. Uh, if you have to come down to the recommended price, okay, but if you have to go lower, at least you know what kind of money you'll have left over, okay? So I hope this has been interesting to you. Uh, if you're, uh, if you have an agent that doesn't do this for you, talk to them. Tell them to go on a, a title company site and get it done. If they don't do it, find another agent. If you have any questions, my information will be at the end of the video below in the description. I hope everybody is well and take care. Bye.